these troopers of the 1st Infantry Division are commencing Phase 1 of Tactical Exercise Lexington. The operation is taking place in the Long Ton area, some 64 kilometers east of Saigon. It will continue from 17 to 28 April. This phase of the operation is a hunt-and-kill mission to dislodge any Viet Cong entrenched in the area. For one week, the camera recorded the activities of a rifle platoon engaged in operations against the Vietnamese Communist forces. Most of the first day was spent in a route march, which would carry the men deep into Viet Cong-dominated territory. To reach a remote village, the men spend hours moving through jungles, until finally, the platoon leader orders a bivouac area set up for the night. While some of the men start digging in, others are sent out on security patrols to make sure the area is safe for overnight encampment. Trip flares will be set up around the camp perimeter as an added precaution against any surprise attack during the night. Anyone stumbling over these wires in the darkness will set off the armed flares lighting the night. But the precaution proved unnecessary. The flares were never fired, and the night passed without incident. The following morning, the 18th of April, the riflemen moved out, sentry dog and all, through the heavy underbrush. Once again, they were headed for the nameless collection of thatched huts in the forest ahead. Sometime around midday, they reached the edge of a large cocoa palm grove on the perimeter of the objective village. Quietly taking up positions in the surrounding cover, the men observed the village for a long time. Failing to spot any armed enemy, the foot soldiers entered the hamlet and interpreters questioned the residents. And examined their papers. Following a house-to-house -house search, the troopers settled back for a badly needed rest. During the course of the morning, they had covered more than 6,000 meters. Most of it was dense undergrowth. Finally satisfied that no Viet Cong were to be found here, the platoon began moving back toward the LZ. The day-long march on April 19th culminates with all members of the platoon reaching the appointed landing zone without mishap. At the end of three days, there has been no contact with the enemy. The choppers come in for the pickup, and the perspiring troopers are mighty glad to get aboard. Soldiering in the humid jungles of Vietnam is physically demanding even for our well-conditioned infantrymen. At home base, the men hasten toward their tents. The next day, the platoon is ordered into the Rung Sot area along the Saigon River. It is called the Mangrove Swamp. Phase two of Lexington gets underway as the same weapons platoon boards LCVPs less than 72 kilometers from Saigon. Mission in this phase is to probe the swamps for any Viet Cong infiltrators or smugglers, and the landing point is reached. The mud here creates a suction that threatens to remove a man's boot. Coffee-colored streams are crossed with the aid of a stout rope, and in the interior are snake-infested thickets and quicksand bogs. One man is felled by the hundred-degree heat. After four hours of hunting the enemy, the platoon discovers a trail on high ground, and it is decided to set up an ambush. The infantryman in Vietnam spends most of his time searching for the VC. A radio check is made with other 1st Division units once the trap has been set. Then, the watching and waiting begins. The hours are filled with insects and heat and swamp noises. But there are no Viet Cong. The troops start back for the boat and again have to ford rain-swollen creeks. 
With the deep holes encountered in crossing, the rope is absolutely necessary. Reaching their forward camp, the men are thirsty and exhausted. Their water supply had been depleted during the long trip back, and they settle down for the night. With the coming of daylight, the platoon moves out, and by mid-morning, they are aboard the waiting boats and sailing up the placid waters of the Song Saigon. The men begin two days of rest. Most of the first day is spent sleeping and airing their clothes. Their weapons are meticulously clean. In a moment of complete relaxation, the members of the platoon have a cookout as one of the sergeants turns out charcoal hamburgers. The day is made complete as the mail arrives and the men munch while getting the word from home. All part of the life of a foot soldier in Vietnam.